All right, James, you up next. Cool. Came at the right time. Yes, What's you up, did. Grant? How are you? Um, I'm working on getting some distinctions down in my head um, between a few different viewpoints. Can you go over a little bit between uh, egalitarianism and util uh, utilitarianism and like compare and contrast sure. uh, those two viewpoints? Sure. So utilitarianism is the idea of the greatest happiness of the greatest number of people. Um, it doesn't have anything to say about what that looks like at the end. That is the greatest happiness of the greatest number of people. Maybe that's equality. Maybe that's, I mean, some defend capitalism on the basis of utilitarianism because it leads to the greatest. But it's basically the idea that it's okay to sacrifice some for the sake of others. It's okay to, you know, there are no minority rights in a sense in utilitarianism because it's the majority. It's, it's, it's uh, the, the, the greater good measured by numbers in, to some extent. Now they're more sophisticated utilitarians they, they want to also give minority rights, like the free market guys usually acknowledge that individuals have rights, but they don't know how to defend those rights. Where do those rights come from? There's no moral defense because it's they would make the argument that rights are utilitarian because a, a, a system that has rights makes more people happy than a system that doesn't have rights. Something like that. You 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 know that's kind of utilitarian. Egalitarianism on it. So utilitarianism has a long tradition going back to, I think, Mill in the 19th century. It's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a moral idea that's being debunked by many different types of philosophers. So it's not unique to objectivism that we criticize utilitarianism. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's very much critiqued out there. Egalitarianism is about the outcome, right? It's about the outcome, not focused on a majority, it's focused on equality. Okay. Now, different egalitarians have different views on what equality means and how you get equality. But the idea is that we all have some form of equality of outcome at the end. And how we get there, whatever, whatever it takes, right? So, um, you know, in, in a sense, there's a similarity. If you equate equality with happiness or good, then, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's if you have to sacrifice some people in order to attain equality, then so be it. So there's a sense in which it can be utilitarian. But it is a distinct view. And for example, John Rawls, who's the most sophisticated of the modern egalitarians uh, and the most, you know, deceptive and therefore, you know, destructive of all the egalitarians, he's the most influential thinker in modern political science. Um, he says something like, you can advance at different rates as long as your advance leads to the, to, to, uh, to, to the worse off also being slightly better off. Say so he recognizes that like in capitalism, the entrepreneur should make more money, but he should only make more money to the extent that the poorest person in society, what I call the wife beating drunk, they should be better off as well. And if that means taxing the entrepreneur, limiting the entrepreneur so that the white beating drunk can get more money so he can become better off, then that's okay to do. But the goal is constant improvement of everybody, but primarily constant, imp not constant improvement of everybody, sorry. Constant improvement of the worse off. Whether that means that the better off are worse or whether it means the better off are better, doesn't matter. The standard of morality is the worse off and their improvement. Egalitarianism ultimately means equality of outcome, not in the Joel Wall sense, but in, in most thinkers' sense. And that's, I've, ta I've, I've written about that in Equal is Unfair, my book. Um, and, uh, and that leads to kind of the, 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 the Camerouge, the, you know, the cut off the tall poppies, the, the anybody with distinction, chop him down, bring him down. Um, so the various varieties of egalitarianism, but the end is, is you know, at its, its, its most consistent form, it is equality of outcome. That's all. So you, could, so you could make, like, in theory, you could have, like, an objectivist, art, like, arguing for free market, you know, kind of, like, politics or whatever, based on, like, a utilitarian, you know, saying, no, it like, wouldn't oh, well. Be objectivist. It wouldn't I mean, be it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be objectivist, not, like, in that have way. A free but. market, most free market economists, even Mises, Hayek, we're utilitarians. 
And there are even some free market economists and philosophers who claim they are egalitarians like, like John Rawls. They love John Rawls. Even though I think it's a complete contradiction. They try to solve that contradiction. There was a, there was a book, a famous book by a scholar at, um, what's the really good school in uh, Rhode Island? Um, MIT? What's that? MIT? Or no? No, uh, no, that's in Massachusetts. I think it's Brown. I think it's Brown. Uh, John Tomasi, who is a very famous political scientist. And John Tomasi had a book where he said, basically, look, I like Hayek. I'm kind of a libertarian. I like Hayek. But I really like John Rawls, too. I like this idea of egalitarianism. So I'm going to write a book where I show you how I'm going to make them work together. I'm going to make you see that libertarianism and egalitarianism work together. And it was painful, torturous to read the book and see him kind of trying to figure this out. And, and it was hopeless. But, you know, he did it. You know, he wrote the book and, and, and he was praised that they hoped for it. All the libertarians, you know, loved it and came out and brought him to speak and paid him a lot of money and everything. No, it, it, being conventional is very lucrative. I'm, you know, I don't make as much money because I'm not conventional. If I wanted to make a lot of money, I'd be conventional. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Thank you. Sure. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder. Please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now. Uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there. Help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share. And uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>